discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here on the farm, we're at it again, and I figured I'd bring you guys along on this trip. I've got a couple products I've been testing, one of which is the PARD DS35, and this is a day, night scope. Um, I've been using it out here um, just to try to gather some footage because ultimately I will be doing a review. I've got it mounted to the Daystate Alpha Wolf, and this is in 30 caliber and I'm shooting the Zan pellets and those are 56 grains. I've got them tuned to shoot just about 905 feet per second. And so this gun's putting out a good amount of power. So we're gonna head out, we'll set up in one of these spots and hopefully we can have some luck on the ground squirrels. Got that guy. You guys have probably seen this spot before. There's a lot of compost piles out here and uh, there's squirrels that like to burrow in. We've got some here at about 84 yards in front of me. There's a few out behind me. And the issue is um, sometimes the squirrels will actually sit on top of the mounds. And I'm not able to take a shot when they're up there because um, there's buildings behind there, there is a road, and so you gotta be really careful. Really the only time you can take a shot on them is if they're this side of those mounds. You guys can see this grass is really tall. In some spots it's actually probably about four or five feet. So it makes it really difficult to spot the ground squirrels. And really, your only option is to try to get up as high as you can. And uh, that way you've got an overlook. And so sitting up on these, these piles here have worked pretty well. Um, there are still some squirrels out here. We're gonna go and try and recover. Here's a couple that I took here. One is a uh, shoulder shot. And I believe this one was a head shot. Yep. That one, right in the head. Terry and I are sitting out on this bluff here and I was just able to take a ground squirrel out here at 122 yards. Really liking the scope. I like the built-in rangefinder, and so it makes it pretty easy. Really all you have to do is adjust for the wind and with a 56 grain pellet at that range you don't really have to do much and so I'm pretty impressed with this so far. Um, pretty much everything that I've taken a shot at today has gone down. Got this one offhand about 50 yards. I was pretty happy about that. And this one, hit him on the left side. Got a pass through coming out over his arm. And uh, I thought he was gonna go down in a hole, but yeah, he, uh, he expired soon. Marley and I had a really nice time out on the farm. It was fun to get out here, do some ground squirrel hunting. I got to test out some pretty cool gear, which you guys will see a review of soon. It does take me a while you know, to get out, use these products, gather the footage that I need for a review, and really kind of learn them and discover what I like, what I don't like, and that way I'm able to give you guys some honest feedback. But so far, I'm really enjoying the PARD. The 56 grain Zan pellets worked really well out of the 
Alpha Wolf. We're going to do some more testing with those, which I'll show you guys in a, a later video. But yeah, it was nice to get out here. It was a little frustrating with the tall grass, um, but we made it work. And uh, if you guys have any questions on any of the gear we use, feel free to email me through my website at mountainsportairguns.com. Fill out the contact form and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. But I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one.